Now we showed you some Secret Service or a Secret Service report yesterday that told schools what they should do to help prevent shootings. And we wanted to know what schools in Western New York are doing. One recommendation is forming threat assessment teams, and it turns out Amherst police and several districts have been doing this for years. Channel 2's Heather Lee is here with more of the details on this. Heather. Adam, good evening. Amherst Police Captain James McNamara said the Secret Service reports and recommendations are a good reminder for schools and police departments alike to be proactive and have protocols and policies in place. The Secret Service report was prepared after February's Parkland school shooting in Florida. Chief McNamara in Amherst said that his department also revisits their plans in the weeks and months after mass shootings elsewhere. Now, in the early 2000s, following the Columbine shooting, Amherst police and the school districts that they cover in Williamsville and Amherst, they actually grew their working relationships. More officers started serving as liaisons and visit schools regularly. They also hold four lockdown drills each year and advise schools on what they can do to increase their security. But for years now, Amherst and Williamsville, also sweet home districts, they've worked with police for their own threat assessment teams, as the Secret Service report suggested. They vet their concerns um, based on information that they internally receive or externally. And if it, if it rises to a level even close to a criminal behavior or a safety concern, they are in contact with us. Our special victims unit um, has a special relationship with the schools. They go out and vet these things. Um, we, get, uh, we go out to the homes. We speak with the parents. Uh, we tell them our concerns. We ask for, uh, for their um, assistance in vetting this, the situation and the severity of it. Um, and then we report back to the schools. McNamara admits, though, that there are difficulties with that approach because they can only go so far before you would start to violate people's civil rights and only so much that there, there is that they can do to intervene if a crime has not yet been committed. Now, the Secret Service cited research that found that 64% of attackers in schools have showed symptoms of mental illness. The captain went on to say that mental illness is still a very taboo topic and it's not always easily identified or addressed. And that, of course, can make the job of police and schools even more difficult. Heather Lee, Channel 2 News.